Hello everybody, we got some news! Let's go! Alright, this is uh, the updated thing. Uh, so first Uranus, there's a lot of confusion on this. Okay, I'm gonna explain it. So in the Korra Korra that's coming out next month, right, not the Korra Korra that's this month, next month, when you get that issue, first Uranus with the Super Ring, which is called First, and as well as the Chip Uranus, that's what you get. To get the 1D chassis, it is a campaign in Japan. If you purchase, I believe it is Lucifer, Rage, Mirage, or like basically like those latest releases, then that's over 2,000 yen of value, I believe. Then they'll give you the 1D chassis. It's really nothing special to go over for First Uranus. Then after for Wheel, Glide, Ragnarok, you would have to get. And then after Mobius, if for whatever reason I said Morbius, M-O-R, that is wrong. It is M-O-B, just in case I said something or maybe accidentally said it, whatever. Mobius. Mobius. Which honestly makes a lot more sense. Obviously there's, there was a few errors in the translation when the original news broke. Uh, there is an actual ad, which I'm gonna... I'm getting this mouse. There's an ad for Lucifer, so we see the wings pop up. To keep in mind, a lot of it's like generated by the computer. It's not actually in what's happening, and then after some is happening, they just put little effects. So when the wings pop out, definitely looks like the Chosy Awakening Bays, which is going to be super interesting to see how it's going to really work. And I, I was waiting on doing this for a full news video. Uh, you see the barrier for the thing. We see it go up against the Helios, and of course, it can't really touch the barrier. Um, these wings look very thick. We also see the tip. The tip really looks close to bearing Mobius, obviously barrier. So another thing to mention is that the whole concept of Lucifer is that you can't touch the bay because of the barrier that it has. Mobius is super interesting. We still don't truth, like we don't really know how the whole thing, how the whole tip is really going to look like. I'm getting a lot of vibes of Bearing. It seems sort of like if Bearing was a lot like Quest in a way. You know, Quest is like it stays in one position. This what it seems like Mobius is like, uh, but obviously like Bearing and everything. You let me know your thoughts on that. Really just want to talk about that. Rage Longness. Uh, I don't know when the full video is going to be coming. I'm going to be going over this only through small, small, small bits. Uh, obviously, you can check out the Korra Korra YouTube channel or the Takurotami YouTube channel. Check it out. I always say support. We're just going to go through this very quickly. Uh, they just bully slash Valkyrie in this. So, just going over this. I think if I just get it right here. Yeah, there we go. Raise Longinus, bro. This thing actually looks like a beauty. It looks very nice. I don't know how strong it's gonna be because they make it go up against Slash Valkyrie and it's like, yeah, okay, if you put Zvi against Slash, I'm sure Zvi would probably like stop Slash in like one hit. Uh, it does look very visually appealing. We're gonna skip around to when they do the battle. Oh, they all, sh before, I, before I forget. Uh, they mentioned the whole metal thing, so the metal dragons and everything, it does look nice, but I don't know if it's really that much metal on it compared to, let's say, Zvi. I would assume Zvi would have the more metal on it. Yeah, you can see they're showing the dragons and everything. It's gonna be so annoying. I hated the, the Zvi where they had to put the dragons, uh, the stickers, you had to put those the transparent ones because they would always fall off because they're on contact points. Obviously, it does look... Yeah, there you go. They, got, they finally got in focus. I don't know. I don't know if Rage will be as good as Vi on its own. I feel like it really just needs that chassis to help it out. Uh, going over it. Yeah, they show the Metal Dragons. All right, skipping. For this one, they launch it. All right, hold on. They launch it, and you can see they're obviously talking about how it has the old Dragons thing and everything. Uh, no, not the right thing. They're talking, it's just showing it in uh, left rotation going around. And then, okay, this is the funniest thing. You've got to see this. Look at this. It goes up against Slash, and then look, one hit. We're going to go back a second. All right, now we got to relive it. And then, a few more hits. And then, boom, look at that. Did you play that? Boom. So... When we're looking at the contact that it gives, obviously a few hits. Hit it. 
boom, kills it. So this is against Slash Valkyrie, so again, I'm not really too sure how good this really is gonna be. Let's see if I got it right, there you go. Uh, I'm, 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 I don't know why they didn't just do it against the Super King Bay. Uh, what they should have done, they should have just easily just done Glide Ragnarok, because I'm sure Rage could have bursted the Glide Ragnarok, or they could have done it against King Helios. I don't know why they're doing it against Slash, it doesn't mean it's gonna be bad, it just is very strange. Again, TT always does this when they showcase the bay. Obviously, they pick the weaker bay. Uh, I'm very excited for Rage, though. Rage is next week, I believe. It is this Saturday, so yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. And let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. And thank you for watching. Have an amazing day. An awesome day. That is great.